This electric SUV charges faster than you can finish a coffee. 12 minutes. That's how long it takes the new Xpeng G6 to go from 10% to 80% battery. Most EVs need twice that. Some need triple. But here's the thing nobody's talking about. This isn't just fast charging wrapped in a boring package. The G6 does something that makes every other EV feel like it's stuck in 2020. It's got 480 horsepower in the all-wheel drive performance trim, slams you from 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. That's Tesla Model Y territory, but this thing costs thousands less. Here's where it gets weird. Xpeng actually made the battery smaller for 2026, down from 87.5 to 80.8 .8 kilowatt hour. Most brands would call that a downgrade, but the range stayed the same, 510 kilometers. How? They switched from silicon to silicon carbide in the 800 volt system. Sounds technical, but what it means is the electrons move faster with less heat. It's like upgrading from a garden hose to a fire hose. And that 451 kilowatts charging speed? That's not a mistake. Most fast chargers in the world max out at 350 kilowatts right now. This car is already ready for chargers that don't even exist yet. But here's what actually matters. You pull into a charging station with 10% battery left. You walk inside, order a caramel latte, check your messages. By the time you're back, you've got 400 kilometers of range ready to go. No 30-minute wait, no planning your life around charging stops, just drive like you would with gas but cleaner. The rest of the package backs up that speed. The front gets a full-width LED light bar that wraps the entire nose. Looks like something from a sci-fi movie, not a $35,000 SUV. Inside, there's a 15.6-inch touchscreen running on Qualcomm's fastest chip, Nappa leather seats that heat, cool, and massage, and the rear seats recline because why not? Cargo space hits 571 liters with the seats up. Fold them down, and you're looking at 1,374 liters. That's more than a Honda CRV. Here's the part most reviews skip. This thing actually drives like it costs twice as much. The dual motor setup doesn't just make it fast in a straight line. It carves corners like it's on rails because the weight sits low and centered. And the new suspension system they added for 2026? Hydraulic damping on double wishbones. It soaks up rough roads without feeling floaty on the highway. The X-Pilot system uses two LiDARs and 31 sensors total. It'll change lanes on its own, park itself, navigate traffic jams, all standard, no subscription fees. Meanwhile, Tesla charges $7,500 for their equivalent system. Let's talk price for a second. Base model starts at 47,000 euros in Europe. The all-wheel drive performance? Around $51,000. Tesla Model Y performance? $60,000. And you still don't get ventilated seats or a 360-degree camera without paying extra. This is the part where most people realize they've been overpaying. So yeah, Xpeng just made every other electric SUV look slow and expensive at the same time. Next time we're looking at something even more unexpected, a Chinese luxury sedan that's making BMW engineers nervous. Trust me, you'll want to see what happens when AI meets old school craftsmanship. Drop a comment if you'd actually pull the trigger on this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or questions. I read every single one. And don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified about my next upload. See you in the next video.